Hello, Raj from Refined here, and in this video, I'll show you how you can run multiple sites using Refined. Today, I'm going to use Refined for Confluence data center and server, but the multiple sites functionality is actually available across all of our flagship products. So you can create and run multiple sites on Refined for Jira data center and server, and you can also do this on Refined for Jira Cloud and Refined for Confluence Cloud. On Cloud, we also have the option to add custom domains on each of your sites. So this adds for even more flexibility and more customization opportunities. So today I'll show you how to create this anonymously accessible knowledge base site, this intranet site, and this department specific resource center, all powered from the same Confluence instance and just using permissions in Refined in order to ensure that relevant users can see content that's relevant to them. So let's get right into it. So now I'm in the Site Builder in Refined Administration, and this is where you create and manage the content of your sites. So adding a site is quite easy. I click on Add Site. And the site is created. And then in the site, of course, I can add as many categories as I see fit. And then under each category, I can then drag in Confluence spaces as well. For the purpose of this demonstration video, I have already pre-populated my sites with categories and spaces. Of course, if you're using Refined for Jira on data center or server, then you'll have categories and Jira projects or Jira service desk projects but it works the same way. And then you can drag, your, drag and drop your content to where you need it to be. So let's start with the documentation site. I've set this up on the global site in Refined. And the global site essentially represents the default Confluence home. So it follows the global permissions that are, def that are defined in Confluence. Uh, so in my case, I want this anonymously accessible and I've set the instance to be anonymously accessible as well. Note as well that spaces need to be configured permission-wise uh, the way that you want them to be. So for this case, if I want these spaces to be anonymously viewable, then I need to, to do that on the space level as well. In Refined, we help you to add permission structures on top of the default Confluence ones, but we don't interfere with the default Confluence ones at all. So you need to ensure that your Confluence content has the relevant permissions set up on it already. The real power of Refine, of course, comes in with the additional sites that you can add in. So on the intranet site, if I jump in and edit the site, then I have different settings that I can make here to make this site unique to itself. So I can add a custom logo on this site. I can add a theme on it. So I could essentially have quite different looking sites all powered from the same Confluence instance. I've also got settings related to the site switcher and the site switcher is this menu at the left side. So I can choose on this site whether I want to show the site switcher. On this one, I have it there, but if I choose not to show it, then this menu will not appear. And I can also choose to exclude this site from the site switcher. So it will not appear in this list. And this is quite useful if you want to create a site that looks more self-standing or more independent, and you don't want users from that site to be able to navigate to another site that you've set up on Confluence. Uh, and then, of course, you can set the site as a start site for groups. Uh, and these, of course, are Confluence user groups. I've set it for this intranet site to be internal user group. And then you can also set the view permissions. So I've set it as the internal user group as well. And then another cool feature is that you can set admin permissions on each of your sites. For this particular one, I've set a user as admin. And this is quite useful, definitely, if you want to delegate permissions a little bit more. The admin permissions that we offer you in Refined, these are outside of Confluence administration. So you, the user that you set as an admin in Refined doesn't necessarily need to be a Confluence admin. I'll go back into the site builder. And then if we take a look now at the dev resources site and edit that, then for this one, 
I've set the start, start site as the devs user group. Uh, and I've also set the view permissions for the devs user group. Uh, I haven't set an admin on this one, but in my setup, the devs user is also in the internal user. So they should see both the resources site and the intranet. Cool, so let's jump into the sites themselves and see how that works. So if I open this in an incognito window, now I'm viewing this site as an anonymous user. And as expected, I can see the knowledge base and I can see the spaces under this. And on the site switcher in the left, I only see the knowledge base site because of the permissions that we've set up in the site builder. But I'll go ahead and log in as a user that's in the devs group. And now I'm logged in. If I go to the site switcher on the left, as expected, I can access the intranet. And I can also access the dev resources site that the devs group should have access to. And now I'll go ahead and log in as someone who's only in the internal group. So the expectation is they will not be able to see the dev site. Since we've set the start site for this group as the intranet, I've landed on the intranet once I log in rather than the global site, but I do have access to the global site still. As expected, I cannot access the dev site since this user is not a member of that user group. And if you remember, we've also added this user as a site admin on the intranet. There we go. So as this user, if I click on the settings cog, then they're taken to refined admin, but they can only see and administer the site that I, as the Confluence admin, have delegated them to. So they can make changes to the category structure, they can move spaces around, they can add uncategorized spaces into their site, and of course they can change their logo and their theme and so on. So the last thing I want to show you in this video is as the Confluence admin, I also have access to a permissions tab. And if I click on that, this shows me a section where I can add refined administrators. And it also gives me an overview of all the site permissions. So I can see everyone that's administering uh, different sites and everyone that has view permissions on different sites. The refined administrators part is quite interesting because here you can add either a user or, or a user group to be refined administrator. And what this means is that user or user group will be able to administer every aspect of the refined app. So they will be able to access the site builder and all the sites, create different sites and manage the categories and the spaces and so on. They'll be able to create themes, edit themes and so on. And the thing that's also really interesting is that they don't need to be Confluence administrators. So this is quite a nifty way, especially if you have a large uh, user base or if you have many sites uh, and you want to delegate the permissions a little bit, then you could delegate uh, a non-Confluence admin to be just refined admin and administer the app for you. And then, of course, on a more granular level, you can do that for each site, as I've shown you already. So I hope that this video has been useful for you. Uh, if you have any more questions for us, you're welcome to reach out at any time via our support help center, support.refined.com. You're also welcome to check out our documentation for our different apps on docs.refined.com. Thanks for watching.